thank you everyone for joining today with us uh, on a webinar in in enhancing the quality of experience uh, validation as well as uh, enhancing the site reliability engineering um, uh, in an organization like uh, in a complex organization like uh, banking financial and uh, insurance sector uh, before we begin uh, we'll walk you first through the speaker panelists that would be me along with me and we'll be uh, having a solution engineering from Hexpin, and then we'll proceed uh, to what Hexpin is all about and how Hexpin can help you enhance your quality of experience for your end customers. Different case studies that we have worked with, with different banking partners in India, uh, I would say ANC, Australia, New Zealand, Middle East, Europe, and USA. We'll also be helping you understand how the Hexpin platform can guide you and assist you um, in uh, actually understanding the different use cases that can be made and how we address them in real time. So before we proceed from a speaker panelist, that would be me in the first place. My name is Saradip Jawardar. I sit in the city of Kolkata and the eastern coast of India. I'm working with Hexpin for almost like two, two and a half, three years right now uh, as a strategic account manager looking after enterprise accounts, primarily in the banking, uh, media and retail outlets for Hexpin. Um, in India, Middle East, and European region. Along with me, I have Christy. Christy is a, uh, is a experienced automation and solution engineer for Headspin. I think he is also with Headspin for over three, four years right now. So that would be from a, from a speaker, speaker and panelist perspective. Now, coming back to what Headspin is, uh, and before we proceed and help you understand the different use cases in the banking sector in which we are working with leading banking firms and how we address them, a quick video of the overall understanding of the Headspin product, uh, the infrastructure that, that we have, and the different data centers that we have uh, would be great. And once the video ends, uh, I'll again walk you through the different uh, sectors of the Headspin pillar, which would be the infrastructure, data analytics, dashboards, and everything. So uh, let me know if the video is... Uh, Poor app Maybe performance and end user experience drastically affect consumer behavior, with up to 90% of users less likely to revisit an app that fails to meet their expectations. The issue at hand is that customers often lack visibility into the user experience when it comes to functional testing. This gap in visibility is not adequately addressed by the current tool set, and as a result, teams struggle to build perfect user experiences. Headspin is a global omni-channel digital experience testing platform serving companies in several industries such as retail, media, banking and telecom, enabling them to optimize application performance using advanced data science capabilities. Welcome to the world of Headspin, where the cutting-edge technology meets the seamless testing experience. Let's explore the powerful features that makes Headspin the go-to platform for all the testers and QA teams around the globe. With Headspin's secure device infrastructure, testers and QA teams gain access to vast array of real SIM-enabled devices across geographies all at their fingertips. Whether it is a mobile device, web browser, media device, audio device, or even an automotive system, Headspin has got you covered. With its real devices connected to P boxes and AV boxes worldwide. Let's explore the Propriety P box. This secure portable enclosure acts as the heart of our analytics system. Inside this P box, all the devices are carefully plugged in, creating a centralized hub for data collection. Connected to the devices within the P box, we have Linux and Mac computers. This is basically acting as a bridge between devices and the Headspin cloud. These computers efficiently gather data from the devices, ensuring seamless communication and data transfer. But what sets the P-Box apart is its temperature control environment. By maintaining an optimal temperature, we ensure that the devices plugged in perform at their peak, providing reliable and accurate data for in-depth analytics. Now let's dive into Headspin Propriety AV-Box, a valuable addition to our product portfolio. This platform is specifically designed for testers and QA teams that are working on video-based applications. From media and entertainment to video conferencing and gaming, 
the AV platform empowers you to test a wide range of video-based applications. Whether it's evaluating OTT media devices, voice activations, or speaker-based use cases, this platform has got you covered. With our AV platform, you can measure and document crucial audio and video KPIs. You know, by doing so, you can ensure seamless experience for your users and guarantee that your application delivers seamless experience every single time. This comprehensive device infrastructure empowers teams to perform manual and automated tests on real user scenarios. Now imagine testing your applications on diverse set of devices, maintaining optimal performance and then compatibility across the board. But it doesn't stop there. Hedgeman's deep data science capabilities takes your testing process to the next level. With 130 data KPIs captured, you gain invaluable insights all driven by artificial intelligence. Hedgeman platform lets you run your test cases and record the performance sessions. This performance session lets you deep dive into your application's performance, pain point on the areas where it may fall short, whether it's a low page content or compromised quality, or even to find root cause analysis of these issues. Hedgeman helps you identify and solve these issues efficiently. Imagine being able to collect real-time insights of your application performance on real devices across the globe. Believe me, it's a plethora of data. But with Headspin's data visualization dashboards, you can effortlessly infer the experience and performance insights. With Headspin, global companies have been able to achieve 68% fewer hours spent on QA for new releases, 90% reduction in number of production issues, 30% faster development cycles, 60% faster in-app load times, 64% improvement in user retention. Navigate seamlessly through applications and achieve perfect digital experiences with Headspin today. There you go. Uh... Now, uh, I hope I, uh, we were able to bring up a, a quick gist and summary of what Headspin is all about. Now, before I give you a deep dive analysis of what the video was all about, and I actually align the entire solution of Headspin in terms of a banking, financial sector, and insurance uh, industry, uh, here's a quick summary and the overview of how uh, we have evolved over time. Now, we started our journey in US, where is, and there is where uh, our headquarters is in Palo Alto. Um, our, uh, the board of chairman is headed by Nikesh Arora, who used to be the CFO at uh, Google before. And right now, he's the chairman and CEO of the Palo Alto Networks. We have our CEO guided by Rajiv Kotani, he used to be the senior managing director with Accenture before, currently with Headspin for over seven, eight years since we start our, started our business. And we have with us uh, Gaurav Mathur, who is also the uh, chief operating officer, used to be the senior partner at IBM Club Network. Uh, and the entire technology division of Headspin is headed by Brian Peria, which is the chief revenue officer, uh, governed and directed by Iravi Gopal. Now, from an investor perspective, we have uh, you know good logos over here, as you can see on the screen, starting with Google Ventures. That's the biggest uh, investment uh, that, you know partner for Headspin. Uh, anything that goes into the Play Store from a Google perspective, say uh, Alexa, um, or for that matter, uh, you know any 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 uh, AI related uh, applications from Google uh, gets validated using our platform. Then we have the Nexus Venture Partners, Wipro, Ericsson. Uh, Telstra Ventures. Recently, we also uh, got an investment from uh, a leading uh, uh, investor in USA, uh, and that that's that's that that's the entire structure of how we are operating in. We started our journey in 2015. Uh, that's that's the board. Now, coming back to the the main point of this discussion and the main area of why we are discussing this platform today with you is the area of the headspin uh, infrastructure, which is subcategorized in three to four different uh, genres of how we operate it. First is the device infrastructure. Now, as you have seen in the video before, uh, we have our DCs uh, you know, across 70 plus locations, 100 plus uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, areas across the globe, starting from US, EMEA, Middle East, uh, India, Asia Pacific, Japan, and so on. Now, any devices, as you, as you might have seen in the video, are all real devices. 
and we do not operate in any simulator or emulator as such. So all devices that we will be discussing today, be it from, uh, let's say, mobile devices, tablets, mobile phones, or smart TVs, uh, wearables such as you know Apple Watches or so, any, any device that we talk from a headspin perspective is a real hard metal device, and it's not a simulated environment that we talk. Now, that's from an infrastructure perspective where we have deployed these devices across 100 locations, 70 plus countries across the globe. If you have remote control, uh, you know, ability to access them in real time with very, very, very bare minimal latency. I would say, uh, you know, less than even a second. Uh, that's what I can call out. Um, and once you have this uh, infrastructure in place, uh, you, and once you have these devices accessible to you, which is dedicated to you, again, uh, it's not shared, although there are multiple deployment rounds that we have, and I'll explain to you later, but here, all devices will be dedicated to you, to your team, and within your organization, there can be multiple uh, you know, collaboration teams, let's say compliance, site reliability engineering, quality assurance, uh, the testing team, the functional team, the performance team, the automation team, regression team, and so on. All those teams can come on board into the platform, collaborate between each other uh, with unlimited test cases, with unlimited storage, and unlimited users accessing the platform, and have a comprehensive one-stop solution in understanding how your application is behaving in real time across real uh, you know, devices uh, being run by different uh, real telecarriers in a particular geolo uh, geolocation. That's, that's the first part of the solution, which is the infrastructure. The second part of the uh, solution is the data and analytics, where the platform, as you run a test, be it manual or automation, regression, performance, whatever that test case may be, as soon as you run the test case into the in, you know, with the help of the Hedgeman platform, the platform will spit out a series of uh, you know performance session reports, uh, you know spanning over 130, 140 data KPIs from device level perspective, network perspective, app, app level perspective, and geolocation perspective. So there are four or five different areas where all these data KPIs are being captured in real time. Uh, the entire data processing mechanism is being run using our patented AI and ML engine. And the platform gives you a time series manner uh, with a video recording, giving you insights as to where your, uh, you know, you can say your the device, uh, you know, the application is not behaving in a fashion as it was supposed to behave in the first place. Uh, where exactly your application is being degraded. Uh, how your customers uh, will be witnessing and experiencing that application in a real environment, in a real device connected to a real telecarrier is what this platform is all about. And the biggest advantage that you will be getting with this platform is that even before you, pro, you know, get this into the release cycle or in the production, uh, the, the platform will uh, give your teams insights as, in, as to where this uh, application may break down, where this application may have uh, multiple areas of degradation, what you can do to overcome from a situation. This is also a, this is also a, a AI and ML generated report that uh, you will be seeing while we, we give you the real tour of the platform as that the platform doesn't only give you insights where the application is degrading. The platform also gives you information how you overcome from a, such, such a situation. And then, uh, uh, we, you know, the last part of the second solution, the pillar of the solution in the data and analytics is the impact score. Now, as we give you a real tour of the platform, you will realize that we have set up a score between zero to 100, uh, giving you uh, a comprehensive understanding of how your application is perceived from an end user customer perspective. The higher the score, the better, the lower the score is the worst. So, and, and why that score is coming up, how that score is coming up, where exactly you can improve. Is it from a QA perspective? Is it from a performance? Is it like a new, uh, I would say new feature that you have introduced into an already release build, and you are running a regression test suite of 1500 test cases. Where exactly is failing? How many test cases are failing? You know, all the load test analysis, everything will come into the picture in a time series format. Now you can download all this information in a CSV format, uh, get them into, into a dashboard of your choice, maybe Microsoft BI or something which you may have in your organization already as a vendor, or you can use our own platform, which also gives you a fully customized, uh, you know, a dashboard feature where you can club this information um, into perfectly customizable, you know, pie chart, line graphs, bar charts, and have series of dashboard, one for, one for your CXOs, 
one for your IT, one for your SRE, one for your QA, one for regression performance and so on, and help collaborate between each other. This entire process of you know, running a particular test in a particular uh, infrastructure and getting the data out in real time will actually help you reduce the mean time to identify an issue and as well the mean time to respond to an issue. We have seen over time with our current customers that the entire process of reducing this MTTI and thereby reducing the MTTR has gone down below, uh, you know, actually there is a saving of more than 70 to 80% of time. And we have validated this across multiple genres of interest, industries that we operate in from a BFSI perspective to, you know, retail, media, uh, CPG, automotive, and so on. So just to give you a summary, this is the overall, uh, you know, the structure of how the headspin will operate. One, we have a infrastructure where we will be setting up devices either in our data center of your choice, or as we move forward, we will realize um, uh, that we also have a secured air gap deployment where we will be pushing that P box, as you saw on the, you know, uh, on the video, we'll be shipping that production box along with the devices of your choice in your office premises. And this is where the, uh, the feature comes very, very handy in a, you know, a banking sector, in a financial institution sector, where, you know, there is a, there is a high, uh, a security, uh, you know, feature that is there in place and you cannot actually access, a, you know, public cloud or any devices over the cloud. So what happens is we deploy these devices in your bank's server, the entire infrastructure, the device, the data, the tests, uh, you know, the communication between the device and the person who is actually running a test, the entire, the communication will be within the, your bank server uh, using a virtual private network tunnel, uh, as as we uh, you know explain this over the tour, you will realize that there are multiple deployments. One, we can deploy the devices in our in our cloud, or we can deploy the devices at your office premises. So that's the beauty of the solution. Any any model that we choose, you get you get the full full feature of the platform. You get the full analysis of how your application is behaving in real time in real geographies with real devices. So, just to summarize this, as I was explaining before on the on the dashboards and everything, here's a quick snapshot of one of the dashboards uh, from one of the partners that we are working with currently. So as you can see, there are multiple uh, you know, line, you know, charts that we have set up for them. Uh, one is the launch time, one is the OTP receiving time, home page time, you know, all this. This is, a, this, is a, this is a trading platform application that we are talking about. And this is where the entire information can come handy to you. You can relay this information, relay these uh, you know, dashboards in real time across all your office locations in big TVs and help your team monitor them in real time, like how your application is behaving. Is it, is it like, you know, my app is not launching in a, in a preset time? Is it taking too much of a time? And so on. Now, one important feature that you might be seeing on the screen is some of the, you know, some of the charts might be in green. In some of the charts, there is also a red horizons over there. So what this dashboard also comes handy with you in an alert, and that's what the title of this uh, deck is, which is dashboard and alerts is that you can keep a threshold limit for any user journey experience uh, KPI. So let's say that you have a app launch time, preset app launch time of less, less than two seconds or three seconds, and you and your team realize that anyway, in any which case, uh, my application will load up in, in you know, two to three seconds. That's a standard time and we are okay with this. So you can keep a threshold of let's say 2.5 seconds or three seconds, any time, any anywhere in a particular user journey, if you find that in one particular device, let's say iPhone or Samsung or Xiaomi, Oppo, in any device connected to a real telecarrier, the application loading time exceeds three seconds, four seconds, or five seconds. Now, as soon as that exceeds that threshold limit, uh, the platform will give your teammates a real-time alert notification through Slack, Jira, email, um, uh, Telegram, or any communication channel that we can think of saying that, okay, you know, at this particular instant of time for this particular critical user journey and on this particular performance session, please come to the, you know, the platform and find out, uh, you know, there is, a, there is a loading time of this application which has exceeded the threshold limit. And your team members can come over there, find out like what exactly has happened. And, you know, that might help you uh, recover from that situation. Now, one important thing over here is again a very, very unique feature. Uh, because of this dashboard and alerts is that your team members do not need to actually reproduce the entire test result 
and find out like what actually is happening or what actually was happening during a particular performance session. Along with this dashboard can also come a video recording. Uh, as you will be seeing on the, uh, the platform, so you will realize that anytime we see a you know a time series for performance session report, or at this particular instant of time something has happened, you can uh, you can actually download the entire device logs. Uh, you can also see the video recording alongside and find out like what actually is happening from a from a customer user experience perspective, not from IT or engineering level perspective. So all this information from customer level to actually the, the backend dev and engineering level, all this information will, club handy, will come handy to you in a club comprehensive manner. And you can act on that issue in real time, thereby reducing uh, the chances of a particular customer getting churned out. So this was one of the dashboard for, for, an, for that can come handy for an engineering team. Now, uh, from a CXO level perspective, let's say, you know, the chief technology officer or CEO or CRO of your organization, might not go into such intricate details as to what is happening. They might want to see from an overall perspective, like how my application is behaving from a, from a bird's eye view. So what's the loading time? Is it like how many days were done? How many failed passed? Uh, I don't want to receive an, a, you know, a notification, but I just want to uh, witness and understand how my application behaves. Uh, and I'm I, and I'm not that you know uh, a tech savvy person. That can also happen. So this is where the business level dashboard can also come handy to your leadership team, where you can pull up informations in multiple formats, bar bar chart, pie charts, and help your CXOs understand uh, <clears throat> the different uh, you know the outcome of the efforts that you are putting in uh, using the Headspin solution, or for that matter, even you know before using the solution, what exactly the status of your application currently stands and how your application is behaving versus uh, putting up a solution like Headspin and getting your GUI and SRE and compliance team work on the, the, you know, the, the issues in real time solving them and post, post uh, you know, implementation of the tool, how your application is behaving. So you can actually put up benchmarks over here and help your CXOs understand how the application is doing. <clears throat> so this is from an overview structure of what the solution is, uh, what is the data and analytics uh, you know, from a Hexpin solution perspective, different dashboards, alerts, notifications, and everything. Uh, just to give you a slight summary of what I just uh, showcased, this is where uh, the Hexpin solution can, can come handy to you from a financial app perspective. So a quick video will help you understand that. Okay, so uh, what the video was uh, actually giving an idea of was uh, different use cases in which and the Headspin solution can come handy to you. Uh, starting from quality and testing, the engineering team, the performance, the regression, the dev team, the site reliability engineering team, 
um, as well as the you know the monitoring monitoring team. Now, uh, in the multiple uh, you know sectors of the of this industry that we have worked on, we have real, realized that the biggest area where the entire banking sector is facing an issue is to have a comprehensive one solution that can actually have a real device test the banking application, be it uh, phone banking, net banking, uh, along with the different use cases. It can come, let, let's say, the biometric or let's say the KYC that we do, opening up a, a online digital account. Uh, all these all these critical user journeys that we that we keep talking in a banking application, we need to test them in a real device, uh, in a real environment. Uh, and then the solution uh, actually will have a synthetic monitoring feature in place where the entire banking sector will actually witness how this is working and then give uh, a detailed analysis of how the application is behaving, uh, you know, and how you can actually get the insights and overcome from such critical uh, degradation issues in real time and help your organization build an environment where there is less chance. So uh, talking from a use case perspective, starting with the QA, where you have a, you know, uh, where you run the automation of uh, the user journeys, the functional tests, the performance, uh, you deploy the devices at the edge and you debug them using the device logs. Uh, and then you, un you, know, you have a performance session of how the, uh, the software or for that matter, the application is working under a load condition uh, across different multiple devices, geolocation networks and so on. Now, once you, once uh, once the once you have the entire understanding of how the key play is performing, uh, you can also collaborate with your dev team where they can actually pull this entire information and run continuous tests uh, with CICD. Uh, moving on to the SRE, the entire team can actually understand and manage and scale up the application under different stress condition. Uh, you know, monitor monitor key uh, KPIs, for example, load time. You know, the the uptime of the application. Nothing should go wrong. The application shouldn't break in a critical transaction. Let's say UPI or let's say net banking, RTGS, uh, NEFT, and so on. So that's that's a that's a, a very uh, critical, uh, I would say, use case that is coming that is coming and falling under SRE. And then obviously the regression, where you pull up different uh, new features, uh, you know, with new releases and find out whether that whether that feature is properly functioning along with the pre-release feature or not, and you run multiple regression test suites over there, ensuring that the entire MTTI and MTTR gets reduced. So this is the entire user journey uh, from functional performance, automation, regression, SRE, QA. Uh, this, entire, uh, this entire process of actually testing an, uh, your banking application through the Hespin solution can actually can come, you know, uh, you can actually parallelly run tests across multiple devices. Let's say you have, you have chosen to deploy uh, 20, 30, or let's say 50 devices, you can run multiple test suites of multiple use cases across all 50 or 60 devices of, uh, that you that we have deployed for you in a parallel session and find out, you know, in a in a, in a a comparison chart, let's say uh, how your application behave for a particular user journey in Oppo versus how that particular user journey, uh, you know, is operating or behaving in, let's say, Vivo or, you know, OnePlus, Samsung Galaxy S23, and so on. Or for that matter, even you know, a particular user journey is uh, you know how that be, that is behaving in a you know in an Android environment by, by uh, versus an iOS environment. So all these all these parameters will come handy to you uh, in our dashboards. And just before I proceed to uh, proceed to give you the real tour of the platform, here is what uh, will give you an understanding of how the Headspin stands out against others in the market and where exactly Headspin can put up a you know a business use case. In your organization, starting from the very first instance, we do not provide any emulator simulator as such. All devices that we provide are uh, real devices, uh, you know, real hard metal devices, uh, you know, across multiple uh, DCs that we have. Or for that matter, we can deploy these devices as, like I said before, in your office location, and your teammates can run them in real time because the devices will be dedicated to you 24/7, 365 days. You have complete control over the security apparatus if it is an on-prem deployment. Uh, if it is a cloud deployment, then uh, just to keep you uh, in loop, we are a SOC2 certified company. So every every uh, data that uh, that we have are properly secured uh, through VPNs and tunneling feature. So nothing can go wrong over here. And we have been operating with key uh, banking uh, partners, for example, NetBank, 
East West Bank in uh, the ANZ, um, uh, you know, Visa, say CT. We are also working with Refinity, which is uh, which is the London Stock Exchange. Uh, recently, we have signed up with uh, HDFC Securities in India. We are working with Axis Bank. So multiple areas of banks that we are working from US, Europe, India, ANZ. Uh, you know, we have our devices deployed in their office locations uh, with completely secure aircraft deployment. So that's the first instance. Next, here comes the network testing, where very, very unique feature with the experience solution. You will not find any platform out there in the market which can actually give you a leverage of using a SIM card, a real SIM card in a real device. So some may provide a real device to you, but they may not have a they may not have an on-prem solution, or for that matter, they may not have a DC of your choice, uh, and they will definitely not have a SIM card uh, accessibility over there. Here. Since we're talking about real devices, you can also put in real thing cards and understand uh, you know, uh, how, how the telecarrier is working and behaving with your application in a particular uh, device of your choice. Next comes the performance testing and reporting. Here, once, like I said, once you run a, you know, an automation test suite or, or for that matter, manual automation, performance regression, or so on, any, any test suites of your choice, uh, hardly any platform is there in the market which can give you deep insights as you just saw with the dashboards and the videos of how your application is behaving and what you can do to overcome from a situation where your APIs are degrading and might lead to a situation where your customers may churn out. So hence, the, uh, the solution will give you an accelerated QA uh, with lower investment cost uh, in, in from a human resource capital perspective, uh, let's say from monitoring, you know, deploying the devices at the age, uh, with absolute reduced 60 to 70% reduced MPD and NTTR. Now, moving on to the monitoring. Again, uh, you can actually have this in place in your office. You can pull up this information into your, uh, you know, uh, the, the workshop and, uh, uh, you know, and help your teams uh, monitor the KPIs from device, network, uh, geolocation, uh, and so on in real time and understand how, how the different uh, KPIs are behaving in real time in real geographies. Hardly any platform as they are there who can give you such insights into the platform. Only uh, bare minimum, let's say whether a particular test is getting passed or failed is maximum that you can think of uh, with other with other providers. Now, since this entire information is coming into a one-stop solution, you can consider this Hexkin solution as a single source of truth where you have the device on one hand, uh, on one end in the infrastructure side, you're running the performance tests, getting the information out of the, uh, the reports, putting them in the dashboards, uh, and then sending out alert notifications. So nothing uh, is needed outside of this solution from a QA or from uh, you know running a test and assigning some other vendor or assigning some other teammates to do some other job. So this is you can consider the solution as a one-stop comprehensive solution. You don't need anything else. You reduce your entire uh, you know I would say budget in in your QA in your in your performance integration and so on in, in the entire department reducing your capital investment over there with just one solution. Uh, again, uh, like I said, with the regression test suite analysis, you run multiple test cases, let's say 1,500, 2,000, 3,000 test cases. Uh, you find out like uh, what is happening with new feature launches or how many test cases are passed or failed. That's the maximum uh, you can get with other vendors. And that too would be a very slow, responsive uh, you know, analysis that will come over here. It is uh, over here, it is very much handy and it comes in real time. You get all the information in, in our dashboards uh with uh you know with session id and we'll take you to the real platform as well um and just to end uh before i take you to the real uh, tour of the platform the entire platform is uh, you know defined and designed uh in such a way that the user kpis the user experience kpis is very experience centric and you uh from a manufacturing perspective so you are actually you know producing the application relating it to your customers you being a manufacturer of that app can actually experience how your customers will experience in the end. So that's the beauty of the platform where you get an experience ending dev platform with all features that, that we can think of in today's generation in the industry. And anything that uh, you know can come handy to you will be there in the platform right from infrastructure to data analytics uh, to monitoring of the application and sending off your uh, tour of the platform. So just to uh, just before I end over here, and uh, uh, you know our uh, my colleague Christy will be taking you to the to the platform at large and will help you understand how the platform looks like. 
from a real world environment. A quick summary uh, video. We have worked with uh, with one of our partners, CD Ventures, and uh, with with uh, with the SUA and pro with the product team. And we have, uh, you know, uh, our team is actually giving them insights every every six to seven hours. It is a CI/CD uh, application that we are talking about. Just a quick summary of the video, and then we'll take you to the actual platform. My name is Sushil Daswani. I am the director of digital um, here at City Venture Studio. The mission of City Venture Studio is to deliver digital products that increase economic vitality for people and communities. Every year or two, we'll flight one or two new products. Our first two were City Builder and Worthy. City Builder is a place-based investing platform. It features census tracts across the United States, in the city of Milan, and in other countries that are coming up. And then Worthy is a upscaling platform for US workers. So when I joined Studio, um, I was asked to scale up an engineering and quality assurance organization within two months. Hiring engineers I've done before, but to hire a whole QA organization, which includes people, devices, and processes, would have been, would have been a challenge. Pet's been provided a turnkey quality assurance solution for City Venture Studio. Hetzman provides performance and functional testing for our, our products. We have several user stories that our product managers have worked with Hetzman to automate. And every six hours or so, Hetzman uh, runs all those user stories to make sure that uh, those user stories are performant and, and, and functionally working across staging, UAT, and production. My name is Cece Lee and I am a product manager at City Venture Studio. If a user comes to the platform and they find the tool difficult to use, whether there are bugs or certain features that just aren't uh, up to par with what they're expecting, it can very easily disincentivize users from continuing on the platform. Headspin has helped City Builder to catch and remediate a lot of bugs that would have otherwise made it into production. It's great that Headspin can support a black box T testing uh, service too, where they just look at our apps as a user and are able to derive uh, um, performance-based, functional-based, and AI-based insights. We do have a set of accessibility criteria that we have to make. Hudspin has helped in the past by testing the site in advance and identifying any accessibility issues from anything that could be from color contrast to the ability to click through the website without using a mouse. The aspect of Headspin solution that attracts me the most is the fact that it's turnkey quality assurance organization. From Headspin, I get not only functional and performance testing, I get so many things, accessibility testing, AI-based insights. The device farm is great, but Headspin provides a bunch of extra value on top. We've seen a huge overhaul to both our city builder and our worthy products. On City Builder, this means that we were able to launch our first international product, which is City Builder in Milan. Three new climate features, and we've created several new sets of pages on City Builder in US. For Worthy, there have been the addition of several new tools. These are things that we would not be able to launch if we did not feel that they were ready to go to market and Hetzpin has helped us to be able to achieve this. City Builder has been recognized by various government uh, entities um, as a successful place-based investing platform, and Worthy has won uh, several design awards. Because Hetzpin has been such a great partner to us for our existing products, we would likely lean on Hetzpin again for other needs in the future. Hetzpin has been an amazing partner to City Venture Studio. We could not have uh, built our products and got them to market. Um, without the help of Headspin. Well, there you go. That was the that was a that was a quick summary of one of uh, you know uh, partners that we have worked with in the US uh, from a city venture perspective. So, uh, just uh, before we get to the concluding remarks, a quick tour of the platform would be really great, and that will actually help you visualize like what have we discussed till till now. Uh, from infrastructure, running the devices, uh, you know, running your automation and manual tests on the platform, getting the insights into a performance session report, uh, clubbing them, summing the entire information into a dashboard, and then send out alert notifications to your teammates. So, handing over to you, Christy. Thanks, Arudeep. I'll quickly share my screen to show you how the platform looks like. 
and we can get this started. Hi folks. So this is how the platform actually looks like. You can see we have a whole bunch of devices over here. They range from high-end devices like S23 Ultras to even low-end ones like Galaxy A03s. You can quickly boot up any device just by clicking the start button over here, or even choose to select a device based on the locations they sit in. So here we have locations all across the world like India, Indonesia, Malaysia, South Korea, Great Britain, and you can select any, any device just by clicking a host like London, for instance, and you'll be able to see there's an actual Galaxy S20 FE in that location. You can swipe to the right to see more details of the device, like the UDAD, the host name. You can even see it has a waterfront UK SIM in it. It's connected to LTE and it's running on Android version 13. You can boot the device up just by clicking the start button or even boot up the device with the app name inspected to the side by clicking the drop down menu over here. Now let's boot up one of the devices over here. Now, while booting up the device, we also have backend APIs which you can turn on, like the device cleaner. It can remove any applications previously installed by the user. And once it boots up, it's just like any normal Android device. You can use swipes and clicks to navigate to the UI. And these are all real Android or iOS devices. They are not jailbroken or rooted in any way. So you can pretty much use any features of a normal device on our platform as well. And once you can actually open up the device, we give you more insights into what the device is. We have an overview of the device details over here and even an option to write in device notes. If you look to the right, we have different set of tabs like the tools section, which houses different shortcuts. You can open up any URL directly from the UI. All you have to do is just type the URL in, click on open, and it opens it up on the default browser of the device. We even give you shortcuts to settings, Wi-Fi, apps, and even the app store. And if you look down, we also have something called as remote debug. It's a pretty cool feature wherein you can just copy the command over here paste it in your terminal, and you can get the device connected to your local machine as if it was connected via USB cable. This brings up a lot more flexibility into the automating your test cases. So even if you have espresso test cases, you can pretty much connect the device locally and run your espresso test cases. You can even connect it to Android SDK or even run ADB commands. So as you can see, when I type in ADB devices, you can pretty much see the device attached to my laptop. To disconnect it, all you have to do is just type in HS disconnect and that's it, you're good to go. Now, to get this feature, all you have to do is install something called the HS CLI tool. It's a command line interface tool that's available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. And the tool also doubles as a local environment tunnel as well. That means you can even get the device access to your locally set up uh, network. So if you have a QA environment set up, now your applications, even if it's a debug build, can access those particular networks. You can even see that we give you access to the Charles or even work using the tunnel capability. And if you go down, we even give you quick access to shell command. So if I just type in PM list packages as an example, you can quickly get all of the packages installed on the device. It's an easy or a useful feature to have. You can also install any applications from the apps tab over here, be it pre builds, debug builds, or even as it was. All you have to do is just click on the browse button and select the APK or IPA file of your choice to get it uploaded and installed. We also have an automation section which houses the driver URL or the hub URL. This is used to get the cloud device connected to any open source automation tool suite, Appium, Selenium, or even low code solutions like Tosca, Leapworks, or even XLQ. Even the authentication is taken, uh, taken place using the token that we have. You can use default capabilities over here or even Headspin specific ones that you can see in the documentation, which I'll show you in a minute. We can take screenshots of the device over here, and we can even download them all at the same time as a zip file. You can see the logs of the device over here, which can be filtered out by the type of log that you want. You can choose arrows over here, and even use keywords to even filter it out even more. You can see the file manager of the device in the file section, and in the advanced tab, we have access to the hardware keys like locking the device, rebooting it, or even just changing the volume of the device. We even have special hardware that helps you get the device connected to uh, your local machine through Bluetooth, which enables you to send voice commands or even hear the audio output of that particular application. We can also use something called a mini remote uh, feature that we provide. It's a pretty cool feature. All you have to do is just scan the QR code that you see over here with any Android device, and you can pretty much mirror the cloud device that you see over here onto your own phone. So it's an NFT feature to have. Even if you don't have a laptop with you, you can still do your testing. Now, this is on a high level of how you can use any of the devices that we provide. Once you start using them, as Saruti mentioned, we give you a lot of insights into the sessions that you take. 
Now to get that, all you have to do is just capture a session using our capture capability and you'll be able to get the report like the one that you see right now. Here you can see the recording of the test case that you've done on the top right corner. You can pop this out and click on play to see how exactly each element is being interacted with. I'll pop this back in. You can even see on what device and where exactly that particular test case was ran on. So this test was ran on a Galaxy S10 in Melbourne, Australia, and it was it has a yes of test carrier in it. You can go down and see all the device level KPIs at the UI capture. We have captured around 130 plus KPIs, which is a mixture of a lot of uh, different types of KPIs, like video metrics ones, like the MOS score, blurriness, blockiness. So if you have a media application, we have you covered there. And we can even capture all of the network related details, like the HTTP throughput, uh, concurrencies, connections, and even network invites as well. And if you go further down, we even get uh, device specific KP uh, KPIs, like the net CPU, memory used, or even battery drain as well. And if you have a SIM card attached to it, we even give you the signal strength and the signal to noise ratio. And if you have a debug build, SSL and pin version of the app installed. Now these are separated by the host it's trying to interact with as well. So all the gray bars that you see from the left to right uh, are the host and the colored lines that you see over here are the API calls that we capture. And if you look to the very far left over here, you can see all of the issue cards. That's the ML generated issue cards that are generated when you do a test case on any of the, uh, any of the devices that we provide. Loading animation is a great example. When I click on it, you can see there are regions of the screen highlighting any loading animations or repetitive animations that we capture. You can also see there's a small bubble on the top that says impact of 10, uh, 1.2 uh, seconds. So the UI is telling you that for 1.2 seconds, 1 .2 seconds, the app is being uninteractable just because there's a loading animation over here. Since you know there is a user experience issue over here, you can pretty much just zoom in and find out what were the API calls made. And we color coded them in a way which is much easier for you to read. Orange is a TCP connection, purple is a TLS connection, green is time to first byte, and blue is the time to download the request. Now, when I click on one of the requests, you can see the exact request made in the details page to the bottom right corner. So this right here was a post request. You can see the response. You can even go ahead and see the request headers as well as the response headers here, so here as well. And if you want, you can also download all of the logs in the download section, which houses the screen recording itself as an MP4 file, the HTTP archive, the request table, the PCAP analysis. And if it's an automated session via Appium, you can even download the Appium logs, the device logs, and even the JS console logs as well. And keep in mind, this is just a simple test case that we've run. Now, we even have a dashboard which can aggregate all of the sessions into one, wherein you can pretty much see how your particular user flow is uh, being run. So here we have the dashboard which is grafana based it's completely customizable and it's very much visual in nature that means at a glance you can see which are the user flows that are failing you can even see individual test sessions run and its test status over here since it's grafana based you can pretty much update or upgrade any part of the, uh, the graphs over here you can see a visual of the total test pass bar fail as a pie chart or even the iOS handle safety going further down you can nitpick and plot individual kpis as a graph like net cpu memory used video mouse or even battery drain if you want additional KPIs, you can add them as well. Once you start setting up graphs over here, you can actually set thresholds, which means if you have a scenario where you just want to see how the app performs, you would want to probably get the net CPU or the app launch times, right? You can plot them as a graph. And if I take net CPU as an example, you wouldn't want uh, the device to use the net CPU more than uh, 30 or 40 percent mark if it's a high end device. So you can set the threshold at around, say, 40 percent mark. When you do that, whenever a session goes past that limit, you can get an alert. It can be via Slack, email, or even hip chat, and it would contain the session ID linked to it, which means you click on the session link and takes you directly back to one of the session reports. You go through it, you find out this is where the error has occurred. You click and that, drag that particular location. You can just type in the issue. So it could be a UI issue and it could be a error pop-up. Now you type that in, you click on submit, and this creates a label over there. That means instead of the QA or the dev team having to go to the entire session, they can focus all their attention in this small region that's barely 16 seconds. So if the session is over 16 minutes, they don't have to waste their time skimming through the entire session report to find out where the error is. They can just go through the 16 seconds that was marked 
and go through all of the API calls, which again is uh, color coded. So you know where exactly uh, the issue is. You can even find out if it's because the device has a slow network and the responses are going through, or maybe the server is taking a bit too much uh, time to actually get the responses back. And since Android is pretty fragmented, you can even go ahead and find out if it could be an issue with a certain device by going to the memory used or net CPU usage over here. Now, this right here is how you can leverage the whole Hetzman platform. It pretty much has all the information in one place and a dev team or a QA engineer can generally just open up one session to find out what could potentially be an issue that could save you a lot of time. So I'm bringing it back to Savaradi. Thank you. Well, thank you, Christy, uh, for the tour of the platform. So just to, to you know, just we uh, summarize uh, the entire context as to how the headspin solution is working um, is that, uh, you know, we have, like, like we discussed before, we have an infrastructure on one hand where we pull up the devices in those DC data centers or we deploy these devices in your office location. And then you run multiple test cases through, you know, for critical user journeys in those devices, get the insights, uh, you know, of your tests in a time series format as Christy was sort of showcasing a bit earlier. To download that entire information in a CSV format or you know, pull that information in our custom dashboards, and then you send out alert notifications to your team as and when the you know the KPIs of your of your interest gets recreated in a particular geolocation, running on a particular device, um, uh, you know, sitting, uh, you know, running uh, running through a you know a daily career. So that's what the entire solution will look like. We, we deal with absolute real devices. We do not deal in any emulator or simulator as such. You run your you know, test cases in a real environment and you witness the entire environment in which your application behaves from an end user, from a your end customer perspective, even before you release them. And then you run uh, multiple test cases, for example, performance, regression, automation, manual, um, and have your entire uh, core teams, SRE, compliance, uh, QA, performance regression, collaborate between each other through one single solution platform and then reduce the entire, uh, you know, architecture of uh, the time to identify an issue and time to respond to an issue gets reduced by 70 to 80 percent. That's that's the overall context of the platform. Uh, uh, you know, if you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to answer. If you have uh, you know, any anything in mind in which uh, this platform can work in accordance uh, with your current needs and necessities and requirements in your testing architecture, do drop by uh, an email to us. Uh, I'll quickly uh, write down my email address over here. Uh, Yeah, that is sorry at headspin.io. Uh, it is S O U R A T W -E B at the rate uh, H E A T S P I N dot IO. We'll be happy to get on into a you know a one on one session and understand the different requirements that you have. What's the different current infrastructure that you have currently in your organization? Uh, and is there any uh, a gap uh, in the entire uh, testing architecture where you know headspin can fit in, reduce your efforts both in terms of the capital investment. You know, uh, you know, getting the devices on board, uh, setting up a different team for monitoring, setting up a different team for automation and recreation and so on, and uh, help you guide through the entire process of the entire testing uh, you know, infrastructure that we talk about. So yeah, that that uh, I think this will be the, uh, the summary of this webinar. Uh, it was great uh, joining today with you. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, please do uh, send us an email. We'll be happy to connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you all.